भर जन्म घास तिरमन दीधन कमायो नाम के ही राहुस पचि भने राकुआ खनायो घासी दरिद्र घर को तर बुद्धि कास्तो मुभानु भक्त धनी भय कना जाए स्तो मेरा इनार न तसं तल पाटी के छन जे धनराजी धर छन घर भी तर नहीं छन दस घासी ले कसरी आ जदिए छा अल्पी दिकार हो मकन बस नुनरा की कीर्ती Every year, 13th July or 29th day of the month of Asar, according to Nepali calendar, is celebrated as the birth anniversary of Vanuvakta Acharya by the Nepali-speaking people around the world. This day is marked as a mega event with literary seminars and cultural programs and amid a remarkable presence of Nepalese writers, novelists and other literary figures. He was the first writer to translate the great epic Ramayana from Sanskrit to Nepali. Despite having other contemporary poets in the country during his time, Bhanuvakta Acharya is revered and honored with the title of Adikavi, the first ever poet for the Nepali people of Nepal and other around the world. Motiram Bhatta first referred to him as Adikavi while writing Acharya's biography in 1981. He clarified that Acharya is not called Adikavi because he was the first poet in Nepali, but he deserves the title as he was the first poet who wrote with an understanding of the murma that is the inner essence of the poetry. He was born on 29th Asar, Bikram Sambhat, 1871, according to the Nepali calendar, or July 13, 1814, in Setigat, Tanhua district of Nepal, in a village called Ramga. Acharya was born to a Brahmin family and received education at home from his grandfather and later in Varanasi. His father Dhananjaya Acharya was a government official and was eldest of all brothers. He is known for translating the great epic of the Ramayana from the original Sanskrit into Khas language of Nepal. Most of his texts were not available to the Nepali reader for a long time and he was mainly known for writing the Panubhakti, Ramayana, and a petition letter that he wrote in verses from the prison to the then Prime Minister of his country, as after being wrongfully convicted for a crime. Panubhakta Acharya was acquitted later and his honor was restored. He passed away in 1868, not knowing that someday he would be regarded as the most rewarded poet of Nepal. South Asian languages, including the Nepali language, was limited mostly to an oral medium of language disseminated at the time with little written content and literary influence. As most of the written text of South Asia was dominated by Sanskrit, it was mostly inaccessible to the general populace. As the Brahmins were the caste who excelled as teachers, scholars and priests, the access to all of the religious scriptures and other literary works was only limited to them and few who also could receive education and understand Sanskrit. Many poets has written poems in Sanskrit while Acharya started to write 
in the Nepali language, which not only popularized the language but also gained his acceptance from the Rana rulers. Acharya's benevolence towards Rama's heroic exploits brought in him an urgency to make his tale accessible to the people who spoke Nepali. Since most of the people did not understand the Sanskrit language, he translated the epic into the Nepali language. Perceiving the lyrical narration style of Ramayana, his translations are believed by scholars to carry the same lyrical essence, that is Bhavana and Marma, that rather than sounding like a poem, sounded more like a song without distorting the re regional influence or the inner meaning of the Ramayana. Bhanu Bhakta did not receive any Western education nor was familiar to foreign literature which kept his work an experimental journey original to the vernacular literary system and brought strong Nepali favor to his work. The key feature of his writings were simple yet strong with sense of religion, sense of simplicity and the warmth of his country that not many of other poets had been able to compare to. Belonging to a wealthy family, he never had any financial trouble and had an unremarkable life until he met a grass cutter who wanted to give something to the society so he could be remembered after death too. The grass cutter words were what inspired him to do something that would leave a mark in the society. He wrote two masterpieces in his life among which one is the Bhanu Bhakti, Ramayana and the other is a letter he wrote in verse from the prison to the Prime Minister. He was made a scapegoat and sent to prison due to some misunderstanding in signing the papers. In prison, his health deteriorated and he was given false hope of being set free, but his case was not even heard. So he wrote a petition to the Prime Minister requesting his freedom, which later became one of his great work. He not only won his freedom with his poem, but was also given a bag of money. He wrote in the same language that then Prime Minister want to force the public to use. When he died in 1868, he did not know he would one day be one of the most revered poets of Nepal. His creation, however, was not published and he died without receiving credit to his contribution. His works were published by Motiram Bhatta in 1887 after he found the manuscript and took it to Banaras in India for printing. One of Acharya's work is well known to its colorful, glowing praise of Kathmandu Valley and its inhabitants. Although he is one of the most celebrated and revered poets of Nepal, his works are not as famous as other poets in the history of Nepali literature. Thus, Motiram Bhatta rightly remarked that Acharya is not called Adikavi because he was the first poet in Nepali, but he deserves the title as he was the first poet who wrote with an understanding of the murmur that is the inner essence of the poetry.